Hello, hello, darlings. What is going on? Today is another pick a card reading. It's going to be a little different. This is not specific to any date or anything like that, but it is going to be how you are able to uh, connect to yourself and connect to the Earth universe specifically as well. So over here we have pile number one with some uh, blue tiger's eye. Um, number two, we have yellow jasper. And then pile number three, we have some uh, bloodstone as well. So I'm really, really interested to see what these cards have to say for you. Like I said, this is specifically for um, how you're able to connect back to yourself. I feel that this is something that a lot of people are struggling um, pretty intensely recently. September is a very transformative month regardless at the time that I'm filming this. So there are a lot of people who are kind of struggling a little bit, but I'm definitely wanting to um, hopefully shed some light on that a little bit and see how you're able to, um, you know, kind of come back to yourself and reconnect. So go ahead and pause the video. Like I said, this is pile number one, blue tiger's eye, pile number two, yellow jasper, and pile number three with bloodstone. So pause the video, see where you're able to connect, and then we'll get right to the reading. Hello, hello, pile number one. If this is the one that you picked based on the number one or because you were drawn to the blue tiger's eye, then this is going to be your reading. I've tried to pick quite a few cards without going too overboard, but as usual, we're going to start with your tarot cards. We've got three of those, so let's see what we have in store for that. So the first one up that we have is the three of wands. I'm really, really, really obsessed with this card, basically. You know, they've got some bats and everything. This is actually uh, in this deck. She's a vampire and there's a victim down there. So this is pretty much talking about, you know, with the two of wands, you've made your choices, but with that third wand added to it, that third torch, you have made up your mind and you're doing exactly what you set your mind to. So then over here, the next one we have is the world card and that's very exciting. So the world card is specifically talking about um, pretty much your world in general so everything that you are wanting everything that you feel empowered to do everything that you feel strong enough to do um all of your aspirations is going to be what you want it to be basically so that's very exciting and your third card is actually the emperor in reversed so normally when the emperor is right side up it's talking about um you know being uh, strong within yourself. So with this one, you're not quite so strong. You're not quite so sure. This could indicate stress or this could indicate a lack of confidence. So with this being a um, reading specifically about coming back to yourself, coming back to the earth, getting in touch with the universe a little bit more than you probably have been in the past or recently, then that's definitely very interesting. So you're making up your mind. You have decisions uh, that you've already made and, and you're working on that. And then with this one, it's talking about everything that you are wanting is going to be your reality. But if you don't, um, you know, like with even with this, uh, with the little fox here, and I think that might be a cat or something like that. So everything's kind of coming through with the spider. There's a lizard up there. So all of these different animals are, you know, a part of a, a specific ecosystem. So with all of those, if the if things are thrown out of balance, like what this one says, this is out of balance pretty much with uh, the emperor being upside down. So with everything being out of balance, even though you've made decisions, if you don't have the confidence to pull through with those decisions, then things are not going to go the way that you want them to. So this is kind of also telling you that you know the you're stressing everything that you're doing right now, but the world has your back. The, the, the universe is having your back right now. So you have to trust in that. Try not to stress. I know that is a hundred times uh, more easier said than done. But, you know, just try not to stress quite as much as what the universe is telling you. And just trust that it actually is going to work. If it is meant for you, then it will work. Next, we have two other cards. We have the Lamb. Now, which is very interesting because the lamb is an earth element uh, card. It is talking about all of these creative uh, creative uh, aspirations and hobbies that you have. Everything that you are doing is very creative. You know, with this like very geometric pattern in the background here, 
Um, the lamb is very gentle, so you have a very gentle nurturing side to you as well, but you're being very creative or you need to be creative. Maybe this is what you need to come back to yourself and kind of recenter yourself and come back to the universe is to be more creative compared to how you were potentially before. Put that one up here. Okay. And then the next one we have is the swan, another creative card, but also talks about beauty. It talks about um, a very graceful beauty as well. So this is a water element. So this is talking about um, you know, a, a very, um, you know, you're, you're needing to kind of, um, come back to yourself, like with the earth element specifically, but then, you know, with water, don't ignore all of your emotions. If something is telling you something's not right, if you have a gut feeling that something's not right, then you need to listen to that element. You need to listen to that gut feeling. And then next we have these over here. Oops. So over here we have Dragonlean Garden, A New World is Born. And that's pretty perfect because you got the actual world card as well. So with this one specifically, it is discussing that, you know, you have all of these friends with you. You have this, um, you know, you have your own little world, this own little ecosystem going on for you specifically. And you really have to recognize that. You have to honor that. You have to come back to that. So a new world is born. I feel like you're so creative. You're an amazingly creative person, whether you're an artist or whatever that is but you have to recognize your art in order to create this new world that you are trying to in and trying to empower basically let's see what is there uh, almost i scoot that up a little bit i always feel bad when i have to sit here and play with my cards forever while i try and figure out where i want them to be there we go and then the next one we have is the butterflies in gloom after sadness, happiness, and hope return. So with this one, this is, you know, obviously like, you know, she doesn't exactly look the greatest. Maybe you've dealt with some sickness or you're dealing with some sickness right now, whatever that is. But these butterflies are coming into you and they're giving you wings to show you that it is possible to move on and it is possible to get out of this gloomy state that you were in. So with that, I'm feeling very much that, um, you are able to, uh, pretty much your, your creativity, your, um, your willpower, your world and everything like that will come back to you. will be able to, um, you know, come to fruition, all of these things that you were wanting to do, all of these aspirations that you have will be 100% possible. If you just recognize your creativity, recognize how much potential that you have and how much of your creativity is actually tying into the world you're wanting to create. Okay. And the last card that we have is be bold and make the first move with the Cardinal Moon. So this is very, 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 very good. So I really love that, especially because, you know, like I said, you got the world card, you got technically two world cards. Um, and this is like... This also ties into the Emperor a little bit with here, so it's like, you know, with the Emperor card specifically, you have um, a lot of stress, you have anxiety, you have a lack of confidence that is kind of pushing you back and pushing you away from what you're wanting to do, but then with be bold and make the first move. You know, even though the universe has your back, the universe is telling you that you are strong, you are bold, you do have the power to flip that Emperor right side up, you do have the power, you have these these ideas and aspirations already, your world will be recognized and your butterflies will gu will guide you out of this gloomy state, but you have to make the first move. The universe is telling you to be bold and make that first move. It is on your side, but you just have to do it. You have to be um, on the universe's side as well. The universe is helping you and is on your side right now, but it is definitely trying to tell you that you just have to do it. It's It's scary whatever it is, but you've got to get in there and actually do it. Because even with the lamb over here, you know, you have so much creativity. You are a gentle soul. You are very beautiful and you are so, sh um, so sure of yourself. But there is something in there. There is that lack of confidence that is pushing you back and you need to ignore it. I'm even looking at my calendar right now. I have a, um, daily calendar with a little inspiration on it. It says, be willing to change. And I feel like for this one, that really fits for you very much. So what I'm going to be doing as well are drawing my um, actual uh, 
dice as well. So doing my uh, letter dice and then my numbers as well. So we're going to pull some number, or excuse me, pull some letters and see what we can get. What letters are going to be for group number one here. How can they, whoops, okay, that landed on an E. I have to go hunt that one down. Okay. That one really flew out there. Okay. So we have H, A, R, whoops, that was an E. E, I, S, and we have another E over here. So right off the bat, I see hair. <laughs> I see both the actual animal hair, um, which is kind of cute because even over here there is a little bunny rabbit, and I also see hair as in like hair, like you do hair, basically. How do I do that? So, I see hair. So, I see two different hairs. So, maybe you're a hairstylist. Maybe you are um, a cosmetologist or something like that. And that is your creative measure that you are uh, needing to get in contact with. Needing to recognize. Needing to see your full potential. And just go for it. The universe is telling you to be bold. It's it's scary. Whatever it is, potentially. But just, just do it. You have the ability to do it. And you need to recognize that ability. Okay, so we're going to pull our number dice as well. So as I said, these are always color coded. So this, uh, the white dice are specifically something that you need to, um, pay attention to, but it's going to be, I feel like it's more like this, really. More like the animal. Uh, maybe the hair, maybe the rabbit is a spirit guide coming to you and telling you that, you know, um, it's, uh, that, it, that you're able to um, do things very specifically. But anyways, got distracted there. But uh, with these, these are um, could be dates or anything like that that is going to be very specific for you, that is going to be very positive um, and goal-affirming for you as well. So we're going to give these a little wiggle. So one, two, and six. Okay, whoops. So one, two, and six, that could be uh, virtually anything. I'm going to put these over here. So with one and two, again, that could be three, um, especially with that three of wands here, maybe the number three is going to be very significant for you, um, potentially, especially because um, the three uh, can represent the uh, earth element a little bit too with, uh, you know, the power of three, basically earth energy and spirit, really. That's one of the associations that I have with it. So definitely something significant. Like I said, this could be a date. Could be June uh, 12th, you know, or maybe 21st, something like that. It could be something um, even in uh, January or even in February. So all just depends on um, where that will go for you specifically. The black dice are going to be something that is very significant for um, kind of... Not destruction, that's the wrong word, but something that is going to disrupt your life. Maybe that kick in the butt that you need in order to things in order for things to happen the way that they need to, basically. So we're gonna give these a little wiggle as well, see what something is gonna be again, it could be a date or whatever it is, but something for you specifically. That'll shake you up. One, three, and five. Okay, so I'm seeing one being a pretty significant number for you which is not a bad thing. One, you know, if we're going to be talking in terms of tarot, ones represent something starting, you know, make that first move. Something is starting for you. You are trying to start something, even though you've already made decisions and you're already working on your goals. Um, you still have a few things that you haven't quite started yet that you really need to work on. So with these also, these are going to be, um, so usually these are like, you know, uh, relationship dice or whatever like that but for this is going to be specifically for you this is um we're rolling these dice to see what is going to be coming for you how you can connect back to yourself like i said this is connecting back to yourself connecting to your own energy connecting to the earth and the universe specifically and this is literally the universe telling you to make the first move on whatever it is aspirations that you are holding yourself back that you are stressed over so maybe this could be the day that you actually uh, do it. So I'm very curious to see what this would be for you. Whoops. Knocked my camera. I apologize. Two, two, and three. 
Okay. So like I said, two is definitely significant for you, but also with the twos, that you know, obviously two and two makes four. So four could be obviously stability. So with these, um, it could be that everything that you are doing right now is desperately, it, it's trying to happen that, you know, the four is, is a stability number. You know, it represents the four pillars that are holding everything upright. And so I'm really feeling that you will have that stability. You will find that stability if you actually start whatever it is that the universe is telling you to start or that you're wanting to start. You just got to do it. So this is going to be a lucky number. It could be specifically anything. It could be something not as specific, but it's going to be a lucky number. It could be um, something, you know, your actual lucky number, whatever number that you associate with being you know, lucky for you. So we're going to go ahead and give this a wiggle as well. Okay, so that landed on a five. So you got two fives, but also with this, I'm feeling very much that, um, you know, the five uh, in terms of tarot specifically is about some sadness. So maybe there's some sadness that you have to overcome in order to reach all of this potential. All of this potential that you have, this anxiety, this fear, this, this lack of self-confidence that you have right now, you have to overcome that 100%. You have to overcome it. So one thing I'm also wanting to do, I'm trying to do this a little bit. So this is the tiny tarot. It's literally a keychain. Like it is one of the cutest things ever. So I absolutely love this one. So I'm going to attempt to shuffle this. And if you think I'm kidding, these things are teeny. Like they're like an inch tall. So we're just going to see specifically what kind of card, what kind of energy, additionally, we can come up with. Oh my gosh, this is impossible to do on camera. It's a bad idea, but we're doing it anyways. So what card for group number one? What other messages can they get for coming into themselves, coming into their own power, connecting to themselves, and connecting to the universe? What can we get for them? What can we get for group number one? Whoop. The Magician. Oh my gosh. Ah! I love this. So with The Magician, obviously that is very strong with, um, you know, owning your own power. It kind of ties into the world a little bit with like everything, um, you know, uh, uh, surrounding uh, the woman, surrounding the energy, surrounding yourself. And with The Magician specifically, you have the power within yourself. You have the ability to master all of the elements, and you need to master these elements. Everything that you are wanting to do, you have the power to do it. And that is absolutely fantastic. I really love that. That is great. So pound number one, this is this is a wake-up call to kind of kick yourself in the butt and take, you know, the bull by the horn, so to speak, and just go for it. Absolutely, 100%. Go for it. You just got to have that confidence. Just... Just say one, just wake up one day and be like, you know what? Hell, just, just screw it. I'm going to do it. Just do it, do it, do it. And it will come to fruition for you and it will be absolutely amazing. Your world will come true. You just got to do it, please. All right. This is what I got for y'all. Know yourself and know your power. Bye. Okay. Hello. Hello, pal number two. This is going to be your pick a card reading if you were drawn to the number two. Oops. Or if you just wanted the yellow Jasper. So this is going to be your reading. So what we're going to do is, um, like I said, this is specifically drawing in your uh, energy on how you can reconnect to yourself and reconnect to the energy of the earth and the universe in general. What messages the universe is trying to tell you in order to basically make your dreams come true. So we're going to start, as usual, with our tarot cards. We have three of them today. And the first one we have is the High Priestess. That's <laughs> pretty perfect. So this is always like, especially because she has tarot right there. This is all talking about, you know, just the power of you. Whatever it is that you were wanting to do, you are powerful and you need to recognize that. Next we have the star. I love the star. This is a beautiful card. It is absolutely stunning. And I'm very obsessed with the fact that there's bats flying in the sky and not birds or something. Uh, it's a little darker of a tarot deck but the star is um kind of the light at the end of the tunnel there is hope um there is uh you know so much happiness and joy and appreciation for yourself and for the things that you have already 
and you know there is just you know basically light at the end of the tunnel you know there is uh no nothing that you are going through right now is um going to be permanent basically so with this you know you're so powerful there is light at the end of the tunnel so i'm very curious to see okay so we have the king of wands as a third card so with the king of wands it is being very assertive being um very passionate being um not afraid to back down basically so with that specifically especially because this is a card uh, or a reading specifically for uh how to come back to your power how to come back to yourself and the universe and the earth so this is pretty perfect this is very much talking about um th this is all about you of course but this is very much like you know you have your power it is light at the end of the tunnel don't back down from whatever the universe is trying to throw at you, even though it might feel like you want to run away. So next we have the oyster. So the oyster card is a water element. It is talking about, you know, you might be very closed off right now. You might be very clamped tight. You are very, um, you're very just closed off from, uh, things that people are trying to tell you right now or whatever that is, but... You also might be an extremely creative person, and you need to share that creativity and show people that you have so much to offer. You know, you have these amazing treasures within you, and you have to show those treasures to people. Whoop. Okay. And then next we have a air element with the dragonfly. I love this. So the dragonfly is discussing um, an ancient tradition, really, an ancient creativity. So maybe this is something that you've done for a long time. You have an ability, you have an artistic uh, flair, a creative flair, maybe that you've done for a really, really long time or something like that. But you are so powerful, you are so amazing, and you should not, you know, pretty much like with the King of Wands, don't back down from that. Don't back down from that. Recognize what you were able to do, what you have the abilities to do, and then just take it by the, you know, just take the bull by the horns. That is the general message that has been popping into my head today is take the bull by the horns. So pretty much that is very much what I'm getting for this is just to show that you are powerful. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Whatever you feel like right now is not permanent. Don't back down. You're very closed off right now, but maybe you need to open up a little bit and share these treasures, share that light with other people, and in order to come back from yourself, maybe you are too closed off. So next we have the Snake Princess. So it says, the Serpentine Path to Power. I feel this one is very much, a tie very much tied to the High Priestess. So this card is pretty much discussing... Um, Exactly that, you know, you are so powerful, you are so amazing, you are a princess, basically, you are a priestess, you are able to um, come into yourself and come into your power, um, however that may be. So, you know, you have, you know, serpentine power, serpents are very, um, like, you know, kind of old energy, like with the dragonfly, they are pr trying to show you things and you might be running away from that a little bit. Maybe that's what you're closed off. Maybe the, the messages that the universe is trying to give you, you're being closed off to. And maybe that's what you need to come back to. You need to um, recognize that there are things that you are being shown, uh, maybe messages and dreams or something like that, that you are being given by the universe. And you're too closed off to that. And they're trying to tell you your potential, show you your potential through this old energy. And you're being a little bit too closed off to it. So you need to wake up from that closed energy. And then we have a loyal guardian. Oh, yeah, literally. What did I just say? <laughs> the universe is guiding you and you have to let them. You have to let the universe guide you. Your guides are trying to show you. It says it, a loyal guardian. A magical protector is there for you. Yes, absolutely. 100%. Everything is um, potentially a little rocky for you right now. You're not feeling your... 100% best, you're not feeling the greatest, you feel like everything is kind of like, you know, a, a bit of a why me moment, but you are being guided to your true potential. You are being guided to what you need to hear, what you need to see, and who you need to be. So you have so much power within you, that is how you can come back to yourself 
is recognizing that power. Wake up. Be less closed off. Don't back down from a fight. The universe is guarding you. It is It is helping you uh, on your magical journey. It is helping you to protect you. It is showing you how much potential and how much amazing energy you have as a person, as a being, and you need to wake up from that and you need to recognize that. The very last card that we have is, oh my goodness, y'all, you can't make this up. I don't look at these cards when I draw it. I draw it blind. But, so, meditate and contemplate. New moon and Pisces. Yeah, like, do it. <laughs> so, you need to recognize your own power. That is how you come back to yourself, is recognizing your potential, recognizing your flair, your, your personality, your passions. Recognize that and come back to that. Um, maybe that, you know, one way to do that is to kind of like wake up, uh, stagnant energies is to, um, maybe heal some chakra pain that you have, some chakra imbalances that you have, imbalances rather, um, and definitely try to, whoops, keep bumping my camera, um, and definitely just, you know, meditate on that, contemplate how you are amazing, make a list, make a list of things you're good at, things that you are um, you know, successful in, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's gonna be a really short list, bogus, that is absolute bullshit in a chef salad, you are amazing, you are powerful, the universe is trying to tell you that, so you need to recognize that power, now, okay, so we're gonna be doing some, um, as my usual, my dice, these are my letter dice, so we're gonna be drawing some of these, again, this could be, um, uh, initials, could be an actual name, it could be anything, uh, specific to what anything could spell, basically. <laughs> so we're going to see what's going to come out for these. Do you want to come out too? Yep, okay. So we're going to see what this has in store for you. Uh, landed on an I. Oh, wait. Oh, ready. So we have an A. We have a T. We have an O. Turn that. We have a Y. G. And an I. So right off the bat, of course, I see toy. Um, and maybe that's something that you feel. That's kind of just something that just came through to me just now. Something that popped into my head. You feel that the universe is toying with you right now. Maybe that's why you feel like there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe that's why you're closed off. Maybe that's why you feel like you're so clamped up so much. Is because you feel that the universe is toying with you right now. And that's not the case. That is absolutely not the case. The universe is showing you your potential. It is showing you what you are capable of. And you need to stop backing down from that. You need to own up to your power and own up to your highest potential. You are a high priestess. You are a uh, you know princess with amazing potential and power. You are amazing. Um, and again, like, you know, priestess, the princess thing, like, energy is fluid. So um, if you are not... Uh, Attaching yourself to the, you know, terms priestess or princess or anything like that, perfectly fine. You don't have to, but you are amazing. You are a powerful being within your own right. You need to stop being so closed off to that. The universe is not toying with you. It is helping you. It is desperately trying to help you. Okay? But also, I see go. You need to go. You need to, again, just that, just take the bull by the horns. It's what I keep hearing. Everything that you're wanting to do right now is to wake up and recognize that you are being very much guarded, you are being very much protected, and you are able to come back to that. You need to come back to that. And of course, we're going to do uh, my dice as well, my normal number, di normal number dice. I cannot speak. So what we're going to do... So the white ones represent anything from, um, you know just a date or anything like that, something that is going to be good, something that is going to help you recognize your power, help you meditate, help you wake up a little bit, hopefully. So we're going to give these a wiggle and see what we can come up with. Woo! So, four, one, and one. Cute. Okay. So with these specifically, I'm really, like, you know, there's, there's something that you have to start with. You've got two ones, but... You know, there's something that you're needing to do in order to recognize yourself. Maybe that's something, you know, one and one to recognize the, the number four with stability. Maybe that's something that you have to do. Um, but also one and one is two, of course. So maybe that is something that you have to do. You have some decisions, maybe. 
potentially. Or again, these could be a date, could be something uh, January, February, March, April. <laughs> uh, it could be something in January, it could be something in February, um, whatever that is. You know, even these could be added together, you know, uh, could be, you know, June, you know, or May, maybe, something like that. But something you need to recognize is something significant and specific to you. So the black ones are going to represent things that you need to kind of, it, it, it's potentially going to be a date or something like that. You have to be um, woken up from that, basically. Things are going to happen and things are going to be need to um, be shaken up for you in order to recognize your power and your potential and see that light at the end of the tunnel. So we're going to give these a little bit of a wiggle. See what we can get for group number two. My life has been a musical today, so we'll see how that goes. Wow, okay, so four, four, and five, okay. So I'm feeling that you are, you're feeling a lack of stability right now. That's backwards. You're feeling a lack of stability, potentially. Um, and maybe that's why you're so closed off, because you feel that the universe is potentially toying with you or something like that. But there isn't a need to feel like that. Everything is happening for a reason, basically. Hopefully that's not too loud. My heater just kicked on. It is snowing here. It's September. <laughs> so I have the heater on for the very first time of the year. Um, but next we have my red dice. These red dice are going to be, uh, obviously this is for you, connecting back to your energy and yourself, recognizing messages from the universe. So this could be potentially something that you need to um, need to see here, whatever that is. Again, it could be a lucky number. It could be something significant to you. Maybe it's your age. Whatever that is, hopefully this is going to be the day that you recognize how much you actually love yourself so we're definitely going to see what these are going to be Woo! okay we have one four and six okay so again four is a very significant number for you because you literally got four in every single one of these and then a one again so there is something that you're needing to start with maybe that starts with meditation maybe the maybe the maybe there is something that you were so closed off on that you have to meditate, contemplate, like I said, make that list of things that you feel you're amazing at and good at and everything like that. You will be able to come to your power. You will be able to recognize your power and everything like that. You just gotta stop doubting yourself. Be assertive, be the king, be assertive. You've got this, okay? So lucky number dice, this could be again, like an actual lucky number, whatever that is. This is going to be something that could be potentially a little bit more significant to anything that you have for you. Numbers are pretty significant for a lot of things in my life as well. So we will see what we got over here. Cute. Six. <laughs> I kind of want to roll that again, just out of curiosity's sake. Okay. Yeah, no, six. Okay. See? Um, so with the six, this is very much like something significant and specific. A six is a balanced number. Um, so the six, obviously, you know, it's, you know, equal on any way that you turn that, it'll be equal. So you are needing to find balance. You are needing to find that stability, but you have to recognize your own power in order to do that. So I'm going to start, um, at least in this one, anyways, do tiny tarot. This is literally a keychain. I love it. This thing is goofy and adorable. I'm, I'm just kind of obsessed with it right now. But also, if you think I'm kidding, this is almost impossible to shuffle. These are like an inch big. These are just so teeny. Maybe an inch and a quarter. But these are itty bitty. And this is really hard to shuffle. So you're going to watch me probably drop a lot of these. But what can group number two learn? What messages and guidance can group number two get additionally in order to come into their own power in order to wake up from what it is that is hurting them, wake up from what it is that they are closed off from. Whoops, we had one fall. Okay. Oh, gosh. We have the moon. Okay, so with the moon card specifically, I have to get so close. So with the moon card specifically, it is talking about, you know, everything that you are doing right now, everything that you are um, going through, it makes you feel a little crazy, it makes you feel a little uneasy. But the moon and the star, they're back to back. So everything that you are doing, there is light at the end of the tunnel. It will feel a little crazy until you have things a little bit more balanced and figured out. 
but it is for a reason. Everything happens for a reason for this right now. Just don't be so closed off to it. It is okay. It is going to be just fine. Recognize your own power. The universe is trying to tell you how amazing and strong you are. This is going to be a challenge for you, whatever that is. Don't be closed off to it. Don't back down. You have so much amazing energy within you. And you have to recognize that. Like I said, the universe is guiding you. Everything will be okay. You just have to recognize that the universe is on your side and it is trying to help you. All right. This is it. What I got for y'all, group number two. So until next time, know yourself and know your power. Bye. Okay, group number three. This is the one that you picked because you were drawn to group number three or because you like the bloodstone. This will be your reading, how to connect with yourself again, how to reconnect with yourself, and also how to connect back with the universe because the universe is trying to tell you something and you're probably ignoring it. So we will see what we've got. All right, so the first one, whoops, that we have our three tarot cards. So the first one that we have is the tower. Okay. So people freak out with the tower card. The tower is not a bad card. Um, it's not a favorite, of course, but it's not a bad card. So with the tower, this is telling you that something that you have going on in your life right now is making you feel like it's destroying everything. Everything that is going down is just horrible, but this is something that is shaking you up for a reason. Something is being shaken up for the reason that it has to, for whatever reason. Next we have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is discussing everything about like, you know, here's this couple, they are kind of just trudging through, they feel um, like they don't have a hope in the world basically, but there's, they just have to pay attention to their surroundings. Everything that is happening is happening for a reason, but also because there's all of this right here. They're just so focused on, oh, my life is this way, there's no hope, but they're not paying attention that there is hope right here. They just have to actually see it. And then next we have the Ten of Swords, another card that not people, or, or not very many people actually like. But with this card specifically, it is discussing uh, a lot. Obviously, there's, you know, this woman who's been impaled by Ten Swords. But with that specifically, it is talking about everything that you are doing, everything that you're going through, again, is for a reason. But this is like, this is at the end. All the pain, all of the irritation, all of the hard uh, work that you've been going through is finally at a close, at an end. This is more of like, you know, obviously the ten, uh, or excuse me, the, the swords represent the mind. So this one is talking about all of the mental stress and crap that you've been going through is finally at a close. It is finally done. Maybe that was what it was. You had uh, a mental a mental break, potentially. Not, like, not literally a mental breakdown, but you were going through some hard times. It's finally over. The universe is trying to tell you that it is over and you are good or you will be you will be okay so next we have the raccoon so the raccoon is an earth energy card it is discussing um you know you have a lot of uh potential but you're hiding in the shadows you're hiding from your potential you are closing yourself off to it and you need to basically knock it off and next we have with the uh water element we have the starfish which is very interesting because i think i've had water elements with every single one of these readings but with the starfish this is talking about you know you are so used to everyone admiring you in one way or another potentially for your beauty your looks whatever that is and it's not that you need to stop that but you're so used to it that maybe that's what it was that was causing you distress maybe that's what it was that was causing you irritation and annoyance was that you were so used to people treating you a certain way you were so used to things being a certain way for you you know you feel like there was no hope you you were just kind of trudging along and not really paying attention you had tunnel vision you had blinders on you were really just trudging along you felt like everything was falling apart but it's at a close you have to come out of the shadows and recognize that people are recognizing you as an individual as a person the universe is trying to wake up or wake you up and tell you that all the pain that you've been through, unfortunately, again, it did happen for a reason, but it is going to be okay. You are going to be okay. So next up we have the Frog Princess. I actually really like this card. 
So the pro bleh, frog princess says, heed wise counsel and listen. Okay, so with this one, I really feel that that is just straight up universe energy right there. That is pretty much the whole universe telling you to listen. You know, I put you through these tests. They're probably not your favorite ones. You probably hated my guts for the longest time, but I am here for you. Come out of the shadows. Recognize that I am here for you and I am trying to better your life by proving to you that there is treasure to be found. I am here for you. And then next up we have a twist in the tail. So I. I like this whole deck, but I really am fascinated by this card, too. So it's a twist in the tail, the unexpected, and a change you did not see coming. So I feel like with that specifically, it also is very much with the, um, with the raccoon, you know? Yeah, I feel like with the raccoon, obviously this is tied into, I mean, even with the little weasels, um, or ferret, whatever that one is, but... Uh, so with that specifically, I feel it ties into the raccoon because, you know, there, there is change, there is something unexpected coming your way, whatever that is, wherever that is, however that's going to be coming into your life. Maybe it is that hidden treasure somewhere, but it's coming into your life. You just have to get out of the shadows. You have to stop hiding. The universe is trying to show you something. It, maybe it's trying to show you that treasure, whatever that is, whatever that is that you feel that you don't have, you don't deserve, you are, you know, uh, maybe that is that it's just coming down on you. It is coming to you. All the manifestation that you've been doing, all of the hard work, all of the crap, all of the pain that you've been feeling is going to pay off. Absolutely. And then the last card that we have is a new romantic cycle begins. Ooh, okay. What's up? New Moon and Libra. Alright. I don't know if that's legit. But also, a new romantic cycle does not necessarily mean a romantic cycle with another person. Although 90% of the time, that's what it means. But uh, the other 10% of the time could be, obviously, that, you know, it's not just with another person. And maybe that's what that was. Maybe this is... Maybe this was a relationship that went bad. Um... And you're kind of hiding in the shadows and feeling like, you know, all is lost, basically. But the universe is trying to tell you that you're waking up. Or, on the other, ha uh, on the other hand, it could be a new romantic cycle. Maybe this is romance for yourself. That sounds a little strange to some people, I'm sure. But maybe this is recognizing yourself. All the shit you've been through, all this bullshit. You're hiding from everything because you feel that everything has been happening to you and you're so sick and tired of it and you're over the bull. But a new moon. New moon is new beginnings. New moon. Everything that is happening, everything that is going to be okay, everything that is going to be right in your world is happening because a change is coming. It is going to be okay. Alrighty. So next, of course, we are going to be doing the usual with my letter dice. It could be... Uh, names or anything like that. It could be something significant with initials or whatever that is. But we're definitely going to see what is going to be coming in for group number three. You want to come out? Okay. Give me these a wiggle. Woo! Okay. So we have two A's. If I can pick these up. We have an E. L. S. And Y. Interesting. Okay. Already, I'm not 100% sure what that could spell. <laughs> um, I mean, if you want to be a millennial, then, you know, go that way. You know. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. You know, you gotta, you gotta recognize that you know, everything that is happening to you is for a reason. And yes, it is coming to you. Change is happening. It is going to be okay. I just went very flamboyant with that one. My bad. But yeah, no, like there's something that is happening for you. And you just have to recognize that the power is okay. You're running from something. You're hiding from something. But you've got to stop hiding from it. And new things are happening for you. And like I said, maybe it's new love for yourself. Okay. So as usual, also with my whoops. 
actual dice out. Okay, so with the actual dice, whatever this is going to be for you, the white dice as usual we will start with, and it is going to be significant change in, or not significant change, uh, significant um, affirmations basically within your life. And maybe that is when this comes in, you know, white and white, you know, this very, very, very interesting card that you got. This one does not come up very often at all. Um, so this card could be, you know, some very unexpected change, some very change, very expect unexpected change, goodness, that you need right now. But of course, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen right this hot minute, but it very much could. So here we go gonna see what we're gonna get for you group number three okay so two four six okay so when i see synchronicities like that two four six gets two four six bit um i always think of uh actual synchronicities so there is something that is coming to you there is going to be a pattern with things maybe that is something maybe these are the unexpected changes and things that you're going to need to see the council with the universe that you were going to need to recognize is that there is synchronicities happening. Maybe that's what you're hiding from. Maybe all of these synchronicities that are happening, everything that is like, you know, coming through this hidden treasure, you're ignoring it. Are those synchronicities that the universe has been sending you? Maybe you need to stop ignoring those and start recognizing them. So these are going to shake your life up a little bit. These are things that are going to happen that are going to be specific to uh, that wake up call, basically. Hiding in the shadows. You need to stop hiding in the shadows, basically. So with this, we're going to give these a wiggle for group number three and see what we can get. Okay, we got two, six, and six. Okay, so very, very much so there is something with a balance. You know, six is a balanced number. There's very, very, very uh, specific reasons why you are feeling out of balance and you need to, like, you know, with the Libra, very, oh gosh, I just, that just clicked with my mind um with the libra obviously the balance scales so there is a need for balance there is something that is going to happen for you maybe that's an unexpected change there is balance that you have been hiding from or balance that you feel that has not been in your life that is coming to you and then next we're going to have these uh, obviously this is how to come back to your own power how to come back to yourself connect to the universe recognize the universe so this is could be the day that you recognize that the day that you start loving yourself a little bit more or whatever that is so we're going to see what that is one one two okay so you got two and all three so with a two two is like you know kind of like again like it could be you know representing balance you know one scale on each side basically um but it also could represent something significant with, um, like, the number two, making choices, making decisions. And maybe that is going to be what's happening, is the unexpected change, potentially. The something that is coming into your life that is going to give you a gateway to walk through, pretty much. And also, of course, you know, uh, th this all connects to four. So maybe four is going to be significant for you at some point something significant with the number four potentially we will see so lucky number dice this is going to be something that actually could be a lucky number or whatever it is just something significant potentially that might click with your situation and your life okay four y'all ah yeah so there's something with four specifically that is happening for you guys. You are needing to find that balance. That stability is coming. I know you're stressed about it. You feel like it's not there. That's why you're hiding in the shadows. Is because you feel like it's not for you. But it is coming to you. I promise. The universe is promising this to you. And you're just being a bonehead. And not ignore, or you're ignoring it rather. You're ignoring it. And you need to stop. So I'm going to start incorporating the, the tiny tarot. I feel like in some of my readings at least. Because I'm kind of obsessed with these. Except they're itty bitty and they're almost impossible to shuffle. <laughs> so you're probably going to watch me drop a few of these. So we're going to see. So what kind of messages for group number three? What can we get? How can they come out of the funk? They're in a funk right now. They are in a moment of feeling uneasy. They are hiding from their true potential, I feel like. So what can we get for group number three that is significant? Oh my goodness, this is not gonna happen. Damn it, this is not happening. 
So, what can we get? Ah, the moon. Okay, so with the moon, the moon is talking about a little bit of insanity a little bit. Um, but of course you got the new moon, and then usually it's like a, a full moon kind of situation with um, the moon card specifically. So maybe that's what that is. The moon itself obviously represents um, powerful energy, a um, powerful restart. And maybe that's what that is. Maybe this stability that is coming for you, that is going to be happening, that you need to recognize from the universe, is going to come for you at some point. I don't feel like it's necessarily in the next moon cycle, but it might. Especially because this, like, just the word cycle kind of keeps popping up, really. Like, change, rotation, cycle, um... That's pretty much just keeps continuously popping up, so maybe that's what that is as well, especially because you got the the balance scales for something brand new coming your way. So I really feel that there's stability, there is balance coming for you. The worst is over. You know, the 10 represents the end. It is at the end of whatever uh, road it is, basically. And things are coming, things are starting brand new for you. It's going to be okay. It will be just fine. Everything is a little scary right now, and you're probably hiding in the shadows right now because you're really ticked off at everything, but it is going to be okay. Everything is fine. I'm really... I'm This this one is the one that, like, these two keep just, like, screaming at me right now. So, like, very much, like, you know, the new moon and the change is coming for you, even with the little baby moon. Like, the stability that you're not feeling right now is going to come for you. It will come, it will be unexpected, it's probably going to shake you up a little bit, but it's going to be fine. The stability, the balance, everything that is coming your way is going to happen for a reason, and it will come to you, I feel, fairly soon. I don't think it's going to take too terribly long. Alright, group number three, this is what I got for y'all. So until my next video, know yourself and know your power. Bye.